Hey guys, it's Jumpy Ride X. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are talking about all the fun makeup products that I got for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I know this is going up kind of late, but shit takes long to ship. So, I mean. All right, so the first things we're gonna talk about is what I got from the Profusion website. If you're new to my channel, I am a big Profusion fan. I think they have great stuff and they're so friggin' cheap. I mean, there's no real reason not to try any. And for their Black Friday sale, I wanna say they were like 30 to 35% off. So the first thing I got was the Mixed Metals 12 piece eye and face kit in gold sparkle. So we have a face kit right here with eyeshadows a highlight, a blush. You have a brush right here, which I'm a huge fan of their brushes, so I'm pretty excited to have another one. And this is a slightly different one than the ones I already have. I have their dual-ended brushes, and I think this is just like an eyeshadow brush. And we have a sparkling eyeliner in kind of gold up here, so I'm really excited to try that stuff. Although, just by looking at it, and I'm I'm assuming something, the glitter looks a little bit big, so I don't know how that's gonna work out, but still, I'll try it anyway. I got two lip kits. I've never tried any of their lip stuff. I have the Lips To Go in Secret, and it comes with a matte lip cream, a matte lip liner, and a sparkling lip topper. And this is kind of a, oh, sorry about the glare. It's kind of a mauve-y, looks like a, a nude mauve kind of shade. And then this is more of a warm nude, and it's the Lips To Go three-piece velvet lip kit in bare, and it has a lipstick, a lip strobe, and a lip liner, I guess. And then I got two eye palettes. I got the Sultry palette, which is like smoky, and then it has a few warm and cool matte and metallic shades thrown in. And then I got Temptress. I, I haven't touched anything because I wanted to show you guys, so. This is Sultry. And this is the other one I got, Temptress. If these aren't on sale, they're $10 for these things. Again, no reason not to try it. If you don't like it, it's $10. All right, so that was it from Profusion. All right, so I got one thing from ColourPop and it's their Chasing Rainbows eyeshadow palette. I saw Messy Jesse use this and I was very intrigued by it. So I got it and I've tried it and so far so good. I'm, I'm not usually disappointed with ColourPop stuff. It, they just have good stuff. All right, the next was from, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name because I'm pretty sure it's French. It's the Atelier Boulogne Perfume Palette. It has eight little vials of perfume. I think this was like $20, which one of their full-size perfumes is like a hundred and something dollar. Maybe it's like, some of them are cheaper. Some of them are like 70 or 80, but I mean, for a perfume, that's pretty pricey. So this comes with a bunch of different scents. You can mix and match and layer them. So far, I really like it. There's one scent in here. Which one was it? The scent in here that smelled weird was Cafe Tuberose, and it kind of smelled like old lady. No offense to old ladies, but you have a certain smell. Um, the next is by Cover Effects, and I'm a big fan of Cover Effects, like their liquid highlighter drops. I just think they're really great. So this comes with four small sizes, and we have Celestial, Rose Gold, Mirage, and Aurora. So we have glitter drops and custom enhancer like highlighting drops. So I'm very excited to try these because I already have some of their like highlighter drops, but I got this glitter drops in Nova for my BoxyCharm, and I didn't think I was actually gonna like it as a highlighter. It's gorgeous. So I had to grab this too. <gasps> you know what? I'm actually gonna try this on camera because I'm really intrigued by this. So this is the Incredible Hypno Highlight in Throw Me Shade. I saw Stephanie Toms, AKA Coco Chic, try this on her channel and it was like crazy. So I thought I would give it a go. Oh wait, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna show you what I actually have on my cheeks right now. I have blush and highlighter from this Natasha Denona Blush and Glow, like tiny palette. I'm wearing both this blush and highlighter today. I think the blush is gorgeous and very, healthy looking, which I say a lot about blushes, but if I think it's healthy looking, I think it's gorgeous. The highlight's really pretty, but I'm not completely blown away by it. It is very smooth too, I have to say that. It's not, even though it's a powder, it's not catching on to any texture or anything, so that's pretty nice. But I will definitely continue to use these because I will never spend $50 on a full size or however much it is. This was like 20, I think, so I, I can deal with that. This, now we're gonna try, again, this is called Throw Me Shade by Incredible, and it's a liquid, like cream highlighter, I guess, which I usually don't get into too much, but like I said, I saw Stephanie Thomas use it and I was like, okay, this is very gold, but that's okay. All right, so that was before, and this is after. Do you see a difference? 
I'm not sure if I do because of the light, because I have a ring light for my face, but I'm gonna leave that just how it is because I have one more highlighter that I'm gonna try on this side, even though, why did I put on this fucking highlighter? But anyway, the next is from Kaja, and this is the new K-Beauty brand at Sephora. This is like the trio of eyeshadows. We have a lighter one, a slightly deeper one, and then a much deeper one. So let's give these a swatch, actually. Feels really nice and smooth. This is like, the first one's like a rose gold. This one's like a mauve color, and the bottom is like a maroon. They're very nice and smooth. Knife. They're very nice and smooth feeling, so I will definitely give these a try in an upcoming Get Ready With Me video. I need to wipe my hands. And I know, my lips don't totally go with this like green eye, but I really wanted to wear a bold lip today. And this is an exciting video, so I thought, exciting lips, why not? And then I picked up these Sephora lashes. They're nothing crazy, but I've never tried Sephora lashes, and I'm really trying to get better at applying them and using them, and I thought maybe I'd try something different than a drugstore brand. All right, so that was it from Sephora. The next thing I got was a few products from Ardency Inn. They have amazing sales, not just for Black Friday. Black Friday was great because it was 70% off everything on their website. So I have three eyeshadows from them and I've used their stuff before and I, I think they're great. We have Antique Gold, Punch in the Middle, and then Tangerine at the end. These two are mattes and this is a metallic. Then I got two lipsticks from them, which kind of look similar, but they are slightly different. So we have Cult right here, which is like kind of, it kind of looks like the punch eyeshadow color. It's like a pinky, it's like a melon color, like kind of a deep melon. And then we have Kick, which is a more orangey shade, which I can't wait to try. I'm super excited for these. I've only tried one other lip product from them before, and I don't know if it was a nice lipstick or not because the color was so like off from what I thought it was going to be that I didn't actually try it. Um, okay, so next we have exciting products from Melt Cosmetics. We have the Smoke Sessions, which I'm wearing Face Queen right here, this matte shade as like my main matte color all over my eyelids today. I've used this a few times so far. I was trying to wait, but I couldn't. And then I got one of their digital dust highlights in Stargazer. First off, look at this like design they have pressed into this. I actually did try this too, and it's also quite gorgeous. So stop it. And this powder is like crazy finely milled too. Oh my God, it's like the perfect champagne shade. And the last product I got, I want to actually try, swatch, and use with you guys right now. It's the Viseart Grande Pro Volume 2, and this is the All Metallic palette. Mm. Oh my god. I am so butt crazy excited about this, I can't even take it. So if you watched me before, you know that whenever I t apply any metallic satin shade to my lid, I always, always, always use a glitter glue. So. I'm gonna do the same thing with this today and we're gonna pick one of these colors to put on my lid right now and see if it's as magical as I hope it is. I got a pretty good Black Friday discount on this as well. I think I got like $50 off of this, which is pretty fucking good. All right, and I think I'm gonna pick a gold color. Let's do this kind of goldy green color. Oh. Mm. That is so pretty. Wow. You know, I'm gonna do another, a different color on the other side. I think maybe I'll do, you know, this blue is like duochrome, so I think maybe I'll do the blue. Okay, we're gonna do the blue on the other side. Oh my God, these are beautiful. Oh. oh my God, I have some fallout, I don't even fucking care. I can't wait to play with these. Like play with them like a five-year-old plays with Play-Doh. All right guys, so that was it for my Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see me use any of these products in a video, make sure you list them in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you tried any of these products yourself? Did anybody else get the Smoke Sessions palette? Is anybody else fucking sick about it? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.